ready to embark on an enlightening journey through the corridors of American history? Welcome to Black History Illuminated. Join us as we uncover the rich tapestry of black history, shining a spotlight on remarkable individuals, pivotal events, and untold stories that have shaped our world. From the cotton kingdom and tobacco fields of the South to the struggles and triumphs of the civil rights movement, we'll delve into the narratives that have often been overlooked amplifying voices that deserve to be heard. I'm Odell, your guide on this illuminating quest. Together, we'll explore the achievements, contributions, and resilience of black communities, fostering a deeper understanding of our shared human experience. Whether you're a black history enthusiast, a student, or simply curious about the world we live in, Black History Illuminated is your gateway to unearthing hidden stories, empowering conversations, and celebrating the incredible achievements within the black diaspora. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of enlightenment. Get ready to shine a light on the extraordinary legacy of black history. Black History Illuminated. Together we're controlling our narrative. Welcome back. Today we'll talk about Mary Turner Brooks, a young black woman who met a horrific fate in Lowndes County, Georgia in 1918. Her tragic story sheds light on the brutal realities of racial violence and the vulnerability faced by black Americans during the Jim Crow era. Mary Turner Brooks, a 19-year-old black woman, became the victim of a brutal lynching in Lowndes County, Georgia in 1918. The incident unfolded after her husband, Hayes Turner, was accused of killing a white plantation owner named Hampton Smith. Following her husband's arrest, Mary Turner, who was pregnant at the time, dared to speak out against the injustice of his arrest and demanded fair treatment. Her vocal opposition angered local white residents and fueled their rage, leading to a horrifying turn of events. On May 19, 1918, a mob of white supremacists kidnapped Mary Turner, taking her to Folsom's Bridge in Brooks County. There, they subjected her to unspeakable torture and violence. Mary Turner was stripped, tied by her ankles, and hung upside down from a tree. The mob proceeded to beat her mercilessly and repeatedly slashed her abdomen. In the most gruesome act of cruelty, they cut open her womb, causing her unborn child to fall to the ground. After the lynching, Mary Turner's body was left hanging from the tree as a grotesque and horrifying spectacle. A notice was posted near her lifeless body warning other black Americans against questioning the actions of whites. Mary Turner's lynching sent shockwaves throughout the nation and drew attention to the barbarity of racial violence. It became an emblematic example of the racial terrorism and extrajudicial killings that black Americans faced during the Jim Crow era. The brutality inflicted upon Mary Turner was not an isolated incident, but part of a broader pattern of racial terrorism that aimed to maintain white supremacy and silence black American voices of resistance. Her tragic death became a rallying cry for civil rights activists and prompted renewed calls for an end to lynching and racial violence. Mary Turner Brooks's lynching in Lowndes County, Georgia, stands as a horrifying testament to the depths of racial violence and injustice during the Jim Crow era. Her untimely death became a catalyst for change, inspiring a renewed determination to confront and dismantle the systems of oppression. We remember Mary Turner's legacy as we continue the fight for justice for black people. If you found this informative and thought-provoking, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating black American historical content. Until next time.